Soviet mothers taught their daughters to be to be pleasing, uh, to be patient, uh, to be silent, you know. So we have this by our genetics, but that doesn't mean that we are slaves and we're going to shut up all the time. We just like uh, to make our men to feel as a man. As you know, Ukraine burst the kindest and the most attractive ladies which are adored by guys from numerous countries. So pure beauty and positive character traits make them perfect girlfriends and perfect wives. Remember that all Ukrainian women are different at the same time, different, unique. But there are certain tips helping to approach them. I want you guys uh, to consider the possible pros and cons of your future romance and make the right decision before you get started. Because sometimes probably some things can be not understandable for you, not typical for you. You cannot just accept these things. So to help ease your transition, here are five cardinal rules you should always keep in mind when dating the lovely women in Ukraine. So number one, don't ever make her feel like an option. Once uh, we talked about that, and I told you, I also mentioned uh, in another question about jealousy, even about, you know, in somehow Russian languages, right? What can give an idea to the lady that she is an option. She is one of your wish list, but not the only one. We Ukrainian women are very jealousy about that. We want to be always the only one the best one, the first one, and the last one, desirably, right? So a lot of people I know in the U.S. are fond of dating multiple partners at the same time. Most of them justify such a horrible act as a fail-safe strategy, so that if they get dumped by one prospect, they would still have one of more options to pursue. This kind of mentality is a big no I mean, no, if you seriously want to hit it off with the Ukrainian girl. These ladies value relationship and they expect nothing less from their partners as well. So be careful with that and never mention desirably that you have an option to meet some other ladies. Another one, feed her curiosity. You know that Ukrainian lady is indeed legendary, but do you know that what else set these women apart? intelligence intelligence and very good education in most cases but depending on your perspective it could either be a ban or a boon so their physical attributes and intellectual powers can sometimes intimidate some men and make them feel inferior but rather than feeling this way you guys ought to feed her curiosity instead. So engage her with sensible conversations. If she's talking about something specific and you are, let's say, not uh, familiar with this topic, then just listen carefully. Just try to understand what she really likes, what's her hobby, and what is she in, actually. Because if you will like the lady, definitely, you're going to be the part of your hobby and things she really like, she's involved in. So be attentive um, in this way. Also, uh, just let her take you to school. Maybe she will teach you something new. That's also a new experience. Maybe you also will be involved in her hobby. So who knows? But uh, I'm pretty sure that you can also teach her something, of course, um, maybe about your hobby, about history, about literature. If you are uh, fond of something and if she is far from that topic, you also can share your interest. And I hope the uh, communication will be not only about me and you, about job positions, about something, you know, uh, routine, but something really interesting interesting to know and interesting to talk so interesting to discuss even that you both are interested to each other so just uh, embrace your intelligence and feed your curiosity don't forget about that 
compliment her. That's understandable. Any women in the world will like to be complimented, right? But this, this is actually not really hard to do, considering the long list of desirable traits and qualities that Ukrainian women usually possess, right? But still, there are guys I know who are not so much emotional or expressive or open even, you know, or they just don't know how to express their appreciation. So women in general need validation every once in a while, especially Ukrainian women. They need this attention all the time, 24-7. So especially if they have put in the effort to look good for you, or to please you. So it goes without saying that a little flattery can certainly go a long way. Another one, don't take your feminism and desire to please for weakness. That's a big mistake of most Ukrainian men, unfortunately. So unlike most uh, Western females who push the idea of strong, independent women to the extreme, Women in Ukraine have a more tamed and reasonable take on this issue. So they are equally empowered, independent and self-sufficient, but still feminine and sweet and soft and sometimes weak at the same time. So that's actually uh, the biggest peculiarity. So we can be both strong and weak for beloved uh, the only man. So women in Ukraine, uh, they always aim to please. This is in our blood, in our tradition. I told you many times, guys, how Soviet mothers taught their daughters to be, to be pleasing, uh, to be patient, uh, to be silent, you know. So we have this by our genetics, but that doesn't mean that we are slaves and we're going to shut up all the time. We just like uh, to make our men to feel as a man, you know, to feel maximum comfortable. And due to a high percentage of cheating of Ukrainian men, we also have been taught to be good wives and to create maximum best atmosphere at home that the man always wants to get back home. That's the best, by the way, sign, guys. If you have a feeling... You're flying, you know, you're rushing, you are ready to run after some meeting or working day. You want just to be at home. So that's the best sign. It means everything is fine at home. You have what you want and uh, you can find their understanding, patience and, of course, the best comfort. So, but ladies want to make their men happy and contented at all times, but not in a way that may appear possessive and desperate. So don't ever take their sweet nature as a submissive attitude. Though, of course, we have a lot of submissive types of ladies in Ukraine who has this victim psychology. But that's another story, and I hope, I guess, you will make the right choice, and you don't need such type of lady. I mean... Uh, I mean, relationship should be mentally healthy, mentally he healthy, equality and balance between both partners. Also, don't forget to be a gentleman, guys. This dating tip isn't just exclusive to Ukraine singles, right? In fact, this should be a general rule of a thumb in dating for all men. Uh, chivalry isn't just all about, you know, the cliched gentlemanly gestures. We all know about that. True chivalry is on how we treat women and our disposition around and towards them. So, guys, these five cardinal rules, of course, will surely help you in winning a Ukrainian woman's heart. So, guys, I hope this information, this refreshing um, of this tips were useful for you and interesting for you hopefully you won't forget them and will apply to your future relationship